Hey everyone, it is Makeover Monday! Welcome back to my channel for another episode of the Vagrant Townie Makeovers, the series where I take the NPCs and homeless sims of the EA worlds and show them some plum love. So, by the title, you will know that this is Inez Montero, and she was nominated for some plum love by Kayla H, also known as Coco, over on the forums. And I have to say, the girl didn't need much help. She was already beautiful. The only thing that I wish I could have changed about her was her little snatched up nose. It needed a little bit of help, but I threw a nose mask on her when we got there and it seemed to help out a little bit. But look at her. She's just so beautiful. So thank you so much, Kayla, for nominating Inez. And let me tell you a little bit about her. So she hails from Isla Paradiso, which came from the Sims 3 Island Paradise. And when I got into her wiki page, I learned a lot about her, obviously, because it is the Sims wiki page, but I haven't come across a Sim like Inez once I've been doing this series because she comes with a lot of hidden skills a lot of skill points so she has nine points in the scuba diving skill five points in the riding skill and four points in the guardian skill which i feel like is very unheard of and then she also has nine points in the chess hidden skill three points in the dancing hidden skill and two points in the fire walking hidden skill so why wouldn't you want to wife her up or move her in as a roommate because i feel like she could be quite useful so as i was going through her little wikipedia page i learned about her traits and her traits are green thumb hopeless romantic she's mean-spirited neat and she's a perfectionist she's also a libra and her lifetime wish is to become the leader of the free world which we'll come back to that in a minute and her favorites are pop stew surprise and the color hot pink so you're gonna see a little hot pink in some of her outfits hot pink isn't my favorite color so i did struggle a little bit kind trying to incorporate that in her outfits. Now back to her lifetime wish. It's leader of the free world. And if you look at a lifetime wish guide for The Sims 3, she literally has nothing, no traits that would trigger that lifetime wish coming up. So EA just thought, why the heck not? Maybe they thought because she's mean-spirited, maybe she'd make a great politician. Who knows? But the traits that inspire the lifetime wish of leader of the free world are charismatic, friendly, schmoozer, and ambitious. And she literally has none of those. So if I was to play her, I would probably give her something that more fits in with Isla Paradiso. Maybe the lifetime wish that is to save Sims by being a lifeguard, or maybe the one that is there to discover islands. So if it was the one to discover the hidden islands, I'd probably change out mean-spirited and go for the sailor trait, which would trigger the lifetime wish where you have to discover all of the hidden islands. But she was a very interesting sim um, to read about, to learn about, because I don't think I've ever come across a sim that has had so many hidden traits and is so skilled. She's just skilled. So honestly, her download link will be down below in the description as always. Go and download her and play her. I feel like she would be so much fun to play. Now, I struggled with her outfit and when i say i struggled i was on the struggle bus for ages probably just her outfits alone took or her outfit alone for me to decide took probably 45 minutes so i'm literally going through all the outfits that i can think of because i was trying to decide if i should make her look more like a politician or if i should make her look like she's just come off the beach and i went for um, I can't remember what I went for. I think I went more towards her gardening skill or her liking to be outside and on the beach. Now, this outfit that you're going to see, it actually makes a, an appearance as her formal outfit. This is probably the first time I've ever done that where I've completely switched my mind. So this is her formal outfit. And after I get it all done, I'm like, Mm, this doesn't work for an everyday outfit for me. Um, it's more suited towards her formal wear. So I went back and I switched her everyday outfit, which is geared more towards being outdoors, maybe gardening. I could see her having the lifetime wish of wanting to have a perfect garden as well. So I think that would suit her. But I had so much fun making her over. I love this series. So let me know if there are any more Vagrant Townies and any of the other EA worlds that you would like to see shown some plum love. Leave the suggestions 
questions down below and I will try to get to them. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to do all those cool interweb things like comment and subscribe. Make sure you've got that bell a ding dong to so be notified whenever I do upload. But for now, I'm gonna skeet skeet skedaddle. Don't be a pump stranger now, guys.